Okay, so uh, I finally got uh, my first paycheck and I got some money and I happened to find, somebody told me about a bake store. So that's where I could get spices from, so I was pretty excited. And I found spaghetti that looks like actual spaghetti. So I'm a little excited to try that. Um, and I found peanuts, uh, not at the spices, no, it was at the spice store. And they are a little weird, but they're not gross. They're totally doable. And I found olive oil. I'm excited about this. And uh, I've opened it and tasted it. And it's um, not surprising it's not really olive oil. It's some sort of canola oil mixed with uh, kind of a sweet gasoline flavor. Not really sure what I'm going to do with that. Uh, the rosemary is flavorless. It might as well be dried grass. Um, the basil is at least tastes like basil, even though it's a little bitter, but it's all right. It still tastes like basil. The oregano is great. I mean, it really smells like oregano. It had a broken seal, but um, it didn't look like it had been opened. It just looked like it had a broken seal. And the cinnamon is on point. I mean, impressive. I'm super amazed. The cinnamon is possibly stronger than uh, what we have in America. Also, um, on another trip, I found these, which are really good. Uh, I, okay, let me rephrase. They're the best peas ever. Um, they're dried. They come in little, um, they come in little, little like, you know, snack pack things, and they're good. They're sort of salty, um, and they're good. I found a couple of different kinds of, of cheese. There's this string cheese which is mozzarella, and it's really actually good. It's as, it's as good as American cheese. And I found some Gouda, and it's not a Gouda. It's, it's okay. I mean, I think it, I'm pretty convinced that it's still actually cheese. And I found this stuff, grated cheese, which is supposed to be Parmesan. I tasted it. Um, it smells a little bit like Parmesan, but it's not Parmesan. I don't know what is going on, I don't know what it is. And I found some Hershey's chocolate syrup and I mixed it with milk and it was great. Uh, I totally, this and its little buddy are completely empty because 90% of it um, just turned into chocolate milk so I could be gluttonous on the first day. And it's got this funny sort of cartoon explaining that the cow enjoys his life with a little milk and wine and cheese or something in the sun. I don't know. Then he races and gets healthy and exercise. Then I guess they pasteurize it. And then I don't know what this is. He plugs his toaster into his scooter and it puts the milk into a bubble. <laughs> and that's the explanation. But other than it being um, suspiciously white, 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 um, it tasted like real milk. Um, this was no whole milk. It was, you know, maybe 2%, but it tasted pretty good. Um, and I got a cutting board. Pretty excited about the cutting board and a pan. I no longer have to deal with the rusty, crappy old thing that I had. I got these, which is overselling it a little bit. Um, the cookiness is considerably smaller than that. It's a tiny, tiny little thing. Each one of these little packets inside has two of those cookie things inside each of the package. <laughs> um, I'm gonna try this mango. I can't tell what the little Indian girl is saying, but um, I'm gonna try it. And I got these. So some sort of fish monster, and I'm guessing those are his offspring. I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna try it. Um, and I got some noodles that, according to that little picture, I think they might be wheat-based. I don't know. And there's this root vegetable that somebody has made potato chips out of. So I'm guessing it's gonna taste yam chip. I don't know. So, uh, I'm gonna try them and we'll see how they go. That's it. That was, that's all the stuff I got. Got a spatula too. Anyway.